Today's video is about how I began speaking in tongues. Ugh. This is just like so foreign to me. Um, yeah, it was real. It was crazy. And if you're a logical person like me, you will find yourself in your head a lot. And I know this video will speak to you. This is a conversation that is very controversial, especially in the church. A lot of times the church culture, we like make fun of it. Like we say Shondo or something like, you know, but in this video, you will see or hear a deeper conversation about the Holy Spirit as well as my testimony. And yeah, I just, you guys are going to be so blessed. But I think for you, you're about to open up a realm of gifts because you're, you're getting introduced to the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This and is in the, the purest way. Yes. And in the purest yes. way. I mean, for you to feel a pulling on your tongue, like I have never heard a testimony like that. To physically feel like mm -hmm. God is like, get, give me that. Get, come on. <laughs> Open so we know why it's all night. Come on, come on. Open your mouth. It's happening tonight. You want it tonight? Talk. It's happening tonight. Yes. Hi everyone, my name is Tara Lynn and I am the creator of Adorned in Armor, which is a platform that encourages women to conquer life through fashion and faith. Today's video is a testimony video about how I began to speak in tongues. I'm like whispering because it's like, <gasps> Bible study just ended and I felt like I put on my heart to come on here and record like an intro slash outro, um, just in case like I feel led to share this on my YouTube channel. So if it's up. Hey, <laughs> that means God just really wanted to talk to you. What you will see is a Bible study group that I am involved with. There's new friends and old friends, and I'm so happy that I shared the testimony with them because like, oh my gosh, they were so excited and that got me hype as well. So you'll hear me say it the first time and you'll hear me say it again the second time for Candace, another member who came in um, later on. Um, and then we have a deeper conversation about tongues and yeah, as I mentioned, the Holy Spirit and all that good stuff. You guys are going to be so blessed. I know I learned so much from it. So I pray that you watch this with an open mind. And I also just want to encourage you and let you know that once you were saved, you already received the Holy Spirit. This part that I'm talking about right now is just the manifestation of that gift. And so you can ask your father for it and he will give it to you. You know, the Holy Spirit does not discriminate. Um, our father loves us all and he wants to give his children good gifts there's even a verse for that i'll put that down i forgot where it is but yeah he's not gonna give us a snake when we ask for a present he is going to give us the best gift ever because he is the ultimate gift giver you know and so yeah one of my favorite verses is romans 8 verse 26 to 27 and i love the passion translation and it reads and in a similar way the holy spirit takes hold of us in our human frailty to empower us in our weakness for example, at times we don't even know how to pray or know the best things to ask for. But the Holy Spirit rises up within us to super intercede on our behalf, pleading to God with emotional sighs too deep for words. God, the searcher of our hearts, knows fully our longings, yet he also understands the desires of the Spirit because the Holy Spirit passionately pleads before God for us, his holy ones, in perfect harmony with God's plans and our destiny. I think that passage just like really um, speaks and sets the tone for this whole video and it's really just a conversation amongst friends. So consider yourself one of ours. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I would love to know your thoughts, um, your comments, or how you feel about that, um, you know, the manifestation of that gift, um, whether or not you grew up in a church where that was even shared or prevalent because I know like growing up I didn't really know much about it. Just anything, just let me know. Just put it down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Lord, we just thank you and we honor you, oh God, for your grace, for your mercy, for your love, oh God, that you show brand new every day, Lord. We thank you for your favor, oh God, on us. We thank you for your covering over us, Lord. We thank you for the protection that you've given us from every sickness. Thank you for this time that we can come together and break the bread of your word, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus, as we dive into your word, as we seek your face, as we seek to know you more, that you would just open up our hearts, oh God, open up our ears, open up our eyes to see 
the son, the, 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 the Christ, the Jesus that you have sent here, Lord. I pray, God, that you would open up our eyes, oh God, that we can see our Savior in full view, Lord, and we become more and more like him from glory to glory to glory in the name of Jesus. And Lord, as we venture into the study of your spirit, your presence, your essence, oh God, let us come to a realization of fresh new understanding of who he is to us in the name of Jesus. Lord, refill us again, oh God. Renew us again, oh God. Burn us with fire, oh God. Refine us with your word and with your spirit in the name of Jesus. And Sarah, oh God, as she begins to tell her testimony of her experience with your spirit, Lord, I pray, God, that you would even give us new revelation on how you go through us and how you flow through us and how you fill us. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for the presence of your Holy Spirit. We thank you for the influence of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for the advocate, the comforter. We thank you for the one who leads us into all truth. We thank you, oh God, that we are not left alone, but your spirit resides in us and, and walks next to us day after day. Lord, we thank you and we bless you and we honor you for all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's ready? The floor is yours. Okay. Um, so yeah, after we got off the um, call, I was on the phone with Melissa and I don't even know how we got there, but I was like, yo, it's crazy because like, I just felt like I should stay on even after um, that we were done. And I was telling Melissa like, oh, like, I'm gonna try like I'm gonna because I never heard of it. I never knew like people like had videos of like um, learning how to speak in tongues like online um and so yeah it was just really foreign to me like the whole thing period um as i mentioned before like um speaking in tongues and even like prophecy and stuff like that it's not prevalent in my church at all like in the church that i grew up um and so like everything's really new to me like if i see or hear anything it's really like through like television or something mm -hmm. um and so like or like online services or something okay so yeah after i got off the phone okay i'm trying to remember everything i got off the phone and i was like okay let me go back and watch the video but i didn't start with the video that we watched during the bible study i watched like two other ones and then i watched one more and then i went back to the one um that we watched in bible study but prior to going to that one I watched this video that said that really taught like oh give God like the consonants right and I was just like consonants what do you mean I was just like confused um but like I don't even know how to explain it but like the tingling feeling that I felt like as we were um you know on the chat before I felt it um even after um and so I was like okay Tara like you can't just say you're just cold now like it's definitely like okay like the Holy Spirit you know because for me I'm a very very logical person and a lot of the times like it's hard for me to believe in something um yeah because of my logic because of my mind and so like I was grateful that I watched that video that said you know give God the consonants because he also explained like okay here's how to get yourself out the way um and he made it clear like you know sometimes your mind might be the the main thing holding you back and i know for sure that was the case for me so i was able to be con conscious of it and so like in the video he was like you know just saying like okay like this think of the continent like the countenance of god you know and then like i felt like a chill even more i was just like oh wait hold up like i don't even know what's going on um but then after that like it literally i was like okay continents continents so i was just like i don't know i loosened my tongue in a way like i was just like you know what tyrell just like open your mouth at least like just loosen your jaw and just like yeah just like you know be free and so i was just saying like stuff like law and like just like it felt like something was pulling my tongue like literally as if like being not like it was forced but as if like someone was pulling me like that way like you know um so that it could come out um and then i was like okay and i still feel that tingling so you know Taralyn, you're not cold um and then going back to the video um about you know that guy just said like you know just repeat after me and so i began repeating um but like again like i got in my own head because i was just like oh uh, like i'm just repeating after him it's not like god is giving me these words you know um uh, but like i got to one point where i just after i was repeating him i just 
I don't even know how to explain it, but like, it's like words came together and that word just kept on like repeating. Like I just kept on repeating and repeating and repeating it. And then I was just like, okay, whoa. And then I was like, you know what? Um, because at that point I was now kneeling on my bed and I was like, I felt like my toes were still tingling, but I was like, Tarolyn, your toes just fell asleep. Um, and so I just like moved my position. I was like, okay, how about you just walk around again, you guys, very logical person. Um, I'm like, okay, let me walk around. Um, and so I'm walking around in circles and circles and I'm like still saying it and it's getting like more forceful. And then like literally out of nowhere, like I just like, it was like, boom, like I was just thrown to the ground and I was bawling and I never like knew, like I never cried before without even knowing why. And I fell so hard to the ground, but it didn't even hurt. Like I was just like, what is going on? And again, I was still fighting like my mind and stuff like that, but I just knew, like I had to say it with my own mouth, Tara, like, this is God, you know? Um, and so like, it just kept on going and going and going. And I was like bawling for, I don't even know how long. Um, at that point I had turned on, I turned on a Brian Karn video. I think that's his name. Um, and so, yeah, that's when it really came out. Um, and then like, in a way, like renditions of that word. Um, but yeah, I was just done. But I was just grateful too that God didn't just give me that one word because for me, even knowing his daughter, you know, he would think that I would think like, oh, that was still you because at the end of the day, you were repeating that guy, you know, but like he gave me a second word that was like, that had nothing to do with the first, like, you know, and in a way like that was confirmation for me. And even like the next morning when I was feeling like, did that happen last night? He even gave me like another confirmation because I was listening back to the recording and as I listened, I realized that the, the prophet that was like, I don't know, speaking in tongues as well, he said the very same word I did at the same time. Like I, hear, like I heard it behind like my track or whatever, my voice, whatever. Um, but yeah, I was shook. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, yeah, that, was, that happened. I can't deny it. And like throughout this process, I was just like, it's just craziness. And in this, I was just like, why now? Um, I never, of course, like I wanted that gift, but I never like, um, like pray for it as fervently as like others have. Um, and for it to come like that, I was just like, hmm, like why? But like learning not to question it. Um, and yeah, it was, it was so crazy. And even now, um, I was um, watching the video that your wife sent me, um, Delon. And it was Stephanie Ike, and she was talking about um, her struggle with speaking in tongues as well. And um, she said something like, hmm, okay, how she Googled what she had said. Now, this was before I even watched her video. I wrote down word for word, like, I tried to sound, sound it out as I was saying it. And I just like wrote it out, like as I was listening to my recording because I recorded it. Um, and so like I wrote it out and I wrote like all the renditions. I was like, okay, okay. And so I listened to her sermon and then she was like, she Googled it. I was like, Google? I didn't think, you know, Google could answer that. Like, you know, but then I learned like the, like the language could also be just like an, a language that you never knew how to speak and the Holy Spirit empowered you to speak it. And I didn't know that. And I learned that the word that I was speaking, the main word, um, it's Zulu. And it, I don't know why I was saying it, but it means the best of the best. And so I was just like, whoa, the fact that that even had meaning in itself and that, you know, I was able to like, you know, see that and glean that for myself, like the Holy Spirit did that. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, Oh my gosh, like, um, praise God. Wow. I, so after, after that whole, um, event, cause I'm going to say it's an event. It was an event yeah. for you. Um, what, what did you feel spiritually, Candace? Is I like know y'all not having a conversation <laughs> right now. <laughs> yes. Then we'd have to wait till after. Yeah, like the teaching. Okay, so I'll save the questions for the end. Okay. So that she can 
get. I don't want the story from Delon because he ain't gonna tell me everything. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> He's not gonna tell me in detail like I want to hear it. Details. She wants details. Right. Exactly. It's also recorded. By yeah, so, I know we, you want to hear. We it are. Too. Yeah. yeah. I'll be back at eight o'clock. Okay. <laughs> okay. You got thirty minutes, bro. <laughs> Take your time, girl. Take your time. All right. So. um we're going to discuss the Holy Spirit. Uh, we're going to try to... Okay, everyone, this video is long enough. If you'd like to listen in on the rest of the study about the Holy Spirit, I will link to our Facebook page down in the description. For the rest of the video, you will hear me say my testimony again. But it's different this time because now we are learning some truth about the Holy Spirit. Get comfortable because it gets real. Okay, guys, so this is what we call like the at party. So here's the deeper conversation about my testimony. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So after um, I got, we got out of the Bible study and stuff, um, I mentioned, I started saying it, like how I felt like, oh, like I shouldn't leave yet because I don't know, I just felt like I was about to get something else. Um, and it was funny that we started talking about like the Holy Spirit and stuff. And so um, I know, like, that's a conversation, like, me and Melissa always have, too, especially, like, just speaking in tongues, and I was also mentioning how, like, it's not something that I, like, prayed so heavily for. Of course, it's, like, a gift that um, I wanted, but it wasn't, like, something I went so hard for, and I was just, like, for this to happen, I was just, like, why now? And, like, in that way, like, why, huh? I'm confused. But, yeah, like, just in the process, um, God just really showed me like to just take your mind out of it so like after we got off I went on a FaceTime call with Melissa and then I was telling her all right girl I'm about to go I'm about to try this um because again like I never heard of people you know watching videos or like that people even had videos um teaching how to speak in tongues and stuff so I read like you no know, I watched like three videos and one of them was a video about some guy he was like a pastor I think he was teaching okay like give God your consonants and I was like oh whatever I don't know what that is but like I'm gonna just like try that but another thing another point that he made that um I was really conscious about he was speaking about the things that get in the way um from us like you know being able to activate speaking in tongues and the main thing I remember um was like our minds and I know that because I am just like a super logical person and I know I get in the way I know um so uh yeah so after that he at the end of the video he was like okay like he like this music came on and he's like think of the continents of God and then um I was just like you know I felt that tingly feeling again um and I was like all right Tara you're not cold this time and then um I turned um him off but like in that process like I felt as if like my tongue was being pulled and like as if like I was literally physically I wasn't physically moving but I felt like my tongue was like it was just like elongated and I was just like saying like la and I don't even know just random stuff just trying to like loosen like my jaw and like my mouth and stuff um so I definitely felt it um and so I was like all right let me keep it going though like let's see and then I went back to um the video that you showed Candace um with the guy that was like you know borrow my tongue like um copy me or something like that and so I was repeating what he was saying and then at one point like my words turned and turned into something else and it was just like one thing that I just kept repeating 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 like over and over and over again <laughs> it was it was crazy like for real and it was at that time too i was like, all right let me turn him off and i turned on um brian brian car is he yeah 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 okay so i turned him on um and there was like yeah he was like speaking in tongues as well and like just there's like music and stuff and so at this point i'm like on my knees on my bed and again i got my head and i was like okay tara your feet just fell asleep that's it that's why like you feel like that and I was like, okay like let me change positions let me take off my covers all right let me walk around like it kept coming to mind like tower that's you that's you um until like it was just like so undeniable like especially like I just felt hot and then cold and then hot and then like out of nowhere like I just I was just walking in circles just saying the same thing over and over again and then out of nowhere I just like fell to the ground I hit it so hard but like it didn't hurt and I was falling 
I was bawling. I was bawling. And again, like I never cried before without even knowing why. One, I'm not a, cry a crier at all. Um, and so like for that, it was just so deep. Like, I literally could not stop saying what I was saying. Like it just kept on going on and on and on. And it was just like, whoa, like, and then, oh my gosh, I forgot to say, like I started shaking. I was like, what is this? Like I never like experienced anything like that. So like for me, it's just like, what is going on here? But like, you know, I had to say with my mouth, like, God, I know it's you and like get my mind out of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then like, even throughout the process with God, knowing like how logical I am, he just provided me confirmation after confirmation of like, you know, this is me and you can stop like doubting that it is me. Um, yeah, I forgot those examples now, but yeah. Wait. Wow. I, mean, I could look it up, but <laughs> yeah, it was just crazy though. I was too through <laughs> because if I can just add, like, if we kind of think back to the night, right? Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know whether, whether it happened during that, the, on the video with, with us or not. I felt like it was coming soon. Yeah. I already felt like it was coming soon. Cause one, I didn't feel like it was a coincidence that Candace, that you came out, you know, cause one, you know, you handle your business and like, you know, but I don't think it was a coincidence, um, that you came and you shared that. And then I was taking note of that, that you shared. Tara, because Tara's, you know, Tara, well, she's going to get her work done. I noticed, I was like, oh, he's still on. And then we started to talk about the Holy Spirit. And, you know, Israel asked the question. And then when we started to really get on the topic, I started speaking in tongues, like, as if I was worrying. Like, I was like, something's coming soon. I don't know when it's coming. So when I got the message in the morning. She was like, Melissa. I was like, what? She was like, I, ha I was so happy. And you know what's funny is I kept saying, I was like, after, because literally that made my day. Like she shared with you guys, but I was like, that made my day. It literally felt like she, as, she, as if she had a baby to me. And I kept saying that, mm -hmm. but it was literally like, um, and then we, I think Israel shared a video later on about like, it's almost like when a baby starts talking for the first time, it's like you're now being birthed into like this, not that you don't already have the Holy Spirit, but like birthed into the spirit realm where now, now you tapped into like this new place. Now you're in this new place, new location. So like, when I kept, I was like, why did she like had a baby or something? You know what I mean? But I was so happy. I was still so happy that the Lord did that for her. God is faithful. Oh. So faithful. I was like, you got to tell them. Candace and Delani will be so happy. Yep. <laughs> hey, <look>. My face <laughs> hurts. Like, my face I was like, I was like you got to tell them. I think I smiled the entire time. Yeah. Just so detestable. Yeah. <laughs> like increase our faith as well i mean like try the yeah. lord right. you know what I'm it, it, it it simplifies and see if you want to deliver so much mm -hmm. it simplifies so much it takes a burden off of people after you who will get filled with the holy spirit that it's not it's a gift that god gives freely you don't work for it you don't right. tarry for it he said if you ask him for it it's not a selective it's view. Not, like, it's not for these, but not for you. Yeah. It's that block. And it's like you said, it's that it. mental block mm -hmm. that needs to be cleared that opens up the, 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 the mouth to say what God is saying in heaven or what the language is in heaven. It's like, yo, um, you have any... <laughs> you have any I know you guys are still so happy. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm happy. I don't have anything right this very second. <laughs> so, so I guess my question, my first question is, what did you feel after you were kind of done for the night? Like, what did you feel? It was still like a tingling. And I was just still like, in a way of like disbelief of like, what? Like that happened? And it's like, nah, that really happened. And so like, I immediately, I love to journal. So I went like to my journal and I just like was writing like everything that just happened. And also like, I made sure that I recorded it. Um, and I was like, I don't know how long this is going to take, but God, I want this tonight. So yeah, let me start this. And yeah, it came. Yes. <laughs> I was able to like write out like well at least sound out like um what um what he put in my mouth yeah so I was like writing it out and stuff and yeah I just felt that tingling um 
and then I went to bed but like of course like the enemy like attacked me like immediately like immediately like okay so Uh I'm super close to my mom that's my best friend um and as I mentioned like you know growing up not only in a Caribbean church but like Baptist church like um we don't see that and we don't hear it unless it's like online or something and so like when I told mom my mom like it, I was cautious in doing so, and I knew, like, not to expect, like, oh, even though she gets really hyped for me for everything, but, like, for some stuff, she's just very, like, cautious herself, and so, like, I told her, one, because I thought I texted Izzy and Melissa that night, but the text didn't send, um, and so I was like, oh, okay, they're probably sleeping or something, so I was like, okay, whatever, I heard my mom was up, and it was late, so I just went to go tell her, I was like, whatever, I have to go to the bathroom anyway, and then she was like, spoken tongues. And then I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I was just like, yeah, like, Taralyn, you knew. You knew. Never like, mind. Right. <laughs> Never mind, mom. <laughs> Never mind. Like, Never mind. Like, it's okay. Like, it's okay. And then she was like, well, I know the only person you know is Jesus. So, because, you know, again, being Haitian and, you know, just, yeah, things, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, so she's just very cautious of that period. Um, but she was just like, you know, well, I encourage you, like, you know, to keep praying and stay in the word and in the Lord, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it wasn't like, you know, the reaction that I got, like, from you guys, because again, like, I don't blame her or anything, but it's not something we're accustomed to. Yeah. Um, and then, like, the next morning, I was like, hey, is he and Melissa that text me? And so um, <laughs> I was like, oh, my gosh, wait, was this something I should have, like, kept for myself? Like, almost in a way, like, saying, like, try to, like, make me feel, like, embarrassed in a way, like, mm-hmm. showing me even more so, like, this it was, like, an intimate moment, Tarolyn, and you weren't supposed to share with anybody. Like, yeah, you could tell them, like, okay, what happened? But, like, you weren't supposed to, like, go into detail or whatever. And so I immediately just felt like, oh, my gosh, like, I wish I didn't say anything, like, immediately. But then, like, as I listened to the recording again, and, like, God just gave me confirmation right then and there because, um, honestly, when I was saying the word that he gave me, um, the prophet also said it at the same time, like in the recording. And I didn't hear it in the moment, but as I was like listening back, I was able to. And so, yeah. And then I realized, I was like, so you're such a liar. The message didn't even send to them. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. What the <laughs> heck? You know? Yeah. So I, to them. Yeah. I was going to say that, that uh, it, it wasn't even a thing about not getting back to you. It's, it's, I, I, I generally didn't receive anything until yeah. the next morning. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was like, wow. Like, yeah. I was really like, oh my gosh. Like, they didn't say anything mm-hmm. yet. Yeah. But you know what's funny, Tara, that even in that, the enemy is so astute to try and make you feel yeah. like you're at fault, like you should have uh, kept it to yourself, like it wasn't a big deal, like it wasn't a breakthrough moment for you when it really was. Now, here is my question. Mm-hmm. After that moment, after that encounter um, that you had, what has your... What has been the impact on your prayer life from there till now? Um, this like this. I was about to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's that's always my, I guess my pastoral heart is always focused on this idea of what has been the growth or what have you tapped into um, that this manifestation. Because remember what I said, the, the, the gift is the Holy Spirit. It's not the tongues. Mm-hmm. The gift is one, the Holy Spirit. So this manifestation, what has, it, what has it allowed you to tap into or what depth have you felt as far as, as spiritual growth? Mm-hmm. Honestly, I'm still learning. Like, I feel like that's like the most honest I can be. Like, I'm just still learning. Um, I know like for sure, like I'm just more in tune of what the Holy Spirit empowers us to do um, and how, like, you know, it manifests and stuff like that. So I've just been reading more. Um, But I guess, like, one thing I've learned in this short period of time is that, like, you know, that it can come back. Because I know immediately after it happened, I was just like, um, that probably not isn't going to happen again, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, But, like, in this process, like, I I feel like God was showing me like yes you can like it can happen like press into my presence like um well not just working but just press like you know and so i've been i think the busyness of my life kind of like halted it in a way but still like i get to a point where i was like oh no like i do want this so like i try like in the middle of the night or even when i'm like you know speaking to god during the day um but i know like a couple days ago i was just like 
what was I doing? I was listening to a sermon or something and I had like the tingly feeling in my foot, my feet again, but I knocked out girl and guys, I woke up and like, it was like four o'clock in the morning and just like started speaking in tongues and like shouting. And I was like, what the heck is this? And then I went back to sleep. <laughs> yes, yes. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. And there is something very powerful about that 4 a.m. hour, Tara. Mm -hmm. That 4 a.m., that 3 a.m. hour, that, that midnight hour kind of intercession time. Where um, I was going to say, what, now that you, because that, I'm so glad you said that, because usually that is, the, that, that is the idea of people who just have received the manifestation of tongues. They think it's a one-time thing. They think yeah. it will never happen again. They think that they have to labor through it again and, and go through once you once it's there, once you break it into it, it's there. It's there to your disposal. Um, we were talking about and Delon. I, I want you to address this. Um, can one bring oneself to speak in tongues mm -hmm. um, on command, or is it something? Because there, I believe there is a misconception here where people think that they have to be in a certain environment or they have to feel a certain thing to all of a sudden begin to speak in tongues. So can, can you address that? Can you address the, what would be the, um, just cl cl uh, clarification point on when you have manifested in the gift of tongues, um, you have access to that. And just a disclaimer, I am by no means an expert on the gift of tongues, but, cause I, I'm only a disclaimer cause Israel made it sound like that I knew, <laughs> but I just knew. But one thing I, I would say is Thank you for being humble. My, exper <laughs> my experience is, number one, atmospheres help. Atmospheres do help. Being around people who genuinely speak in tongues from a genuine place helps you because it sets a stage for you to begin to venture off in your prayer language. Because sometimes venturing off in your prayer language by yourself ain't always that easy. Uh -huh. Because because it's there's a block sometimes and you need people who are a little bit more mature in you in it to help you knock down that wall so that you can go even further in your prayer language. So I'll say that number one, uh, atmosphere does help, fellowship does help. Um, I have come to the conclusion that because prayer in your English language is 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 at command, prayer in your heavenly language is at command. Because there are sometimes you do not you do not have the words to say to God concerning a situation. Sometimes somebody will give you a text and they'll say, "Hey, so and so's in the hospital," and you don't know what's wrong. And so you could say, "Lord, heal them," but what if that Lord heal them ain't enough? And you gotta tap into the heavenlies and begin to tap on the knowledge of God that He then intercedes on your behalf. And the Holy Spirit intercedes on your behalf before the Father so that the true knowledge of what's going on is made evident. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, you can pray in tongues on command. Is it easy? Especially, when, I don't know if it's easy when you first receive that gift, if it's easy to tap into that. But when God said press, he wants you to press into the point where you, it becomes a weapon to you, not just an not, not just a, a urge. The, the, the gift of tongues is a weapon. Mm -hmm. Every gift that the Holy Spirit gives is a weapon to the enemy. It's a weapon against the kingdom of darkness. It's a weapon to, to, to tear down your own doubts and your own fears. It's a weapon to cut down strongholds and mentalities and thoughts. Why would, tell you, why would God give you something that's, that, that's a weapon that he doesn't allow you to use when you feel like you want to pull it out? It, it is on command. It is a gift. Yeah. And I've heard, and, and this is something that I learned also from Matthew Stevenson, is that a gift is something somebody gives you. Now, prophetic words and prophecy are different. So prophetic words and prophecy can only be spoken when God says it. We are not, we are not, um, we are not fortune tellers that when somebody gives us $20, now we can give their future. We can only speak what God reveals. That is the difference between a, a, a gift like healing, a, a power gift or a revelatory gift, those can only be done based off of what the Father decides to do. But the, pray, the gift of tongues is given to you as a weapon that you can use always, yeah. at any time, because it is for you to edify your spirit. Needs to, your, your spirit needs to be stronger. Uh, 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 when you first get saved, 
your your spirit is that kind of a baby stage. It's just kind of waking up. You know how you just get out the bed and you yawn and you got to stretch and get the cobwebs out and all of that stuff? It's the same thing that your, your spirit has been sleeping for majority of your life. So when your spirit wakes up, now it's got to wake up and get the, get, the car, get the stretching, get the cobwebs out. Speaking in tongues is like your cardio. Now, now get your heart rate going. Mm -hmm. Now you get the sweat going. And now you start building endurance. And when you exercise that gift, it makes your spirit stronger. It develops muscles because you're exercising your spirit with the, with the gift of tongues. So think of, think of your tongues as a gym that you have access to all the time. <laughs> it, it don't shut down. It's 24 hours. That's good. 24 seven. And as it, in that same vein, oh, I'm sorry, Candice, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. I was gonna say in that same vein of thought, muscles take years to build. Um, and so as a result, the gift of tongues is all, I remember when I first got the gift of tongues, man, I had like one or two go-to <laughs> syllables and that was it. <laughs> that was it. The Lord knew my heart. I would just repeat those one or two syllables in prayer and he knew my heart. <laughs> but as the years progressed and he started teaching me more, um, I, the, my, um, my language, it, it, I, I, I was just thinking to myself when he was saying that it's kind of the same thing um, as when you're learning, as when you first started learning English, right? You started with your ABCs, started with compound words, uh, then you enrich your vocabulary and you started adding more words that, um, that you didn't know before. And so, but the only way you developed it was by making mistakes and kind of continuing to pick it up and, and talking to, you know, other people and using those words. Um, so in prayer, it's kind of like that language between your spirit man and God. And the great thing is that there is no mistake um, in that, because even if you um, are trying to, even if you, if you get confused or if you're not sure, if there's doubt, um, the Holy Spirit, as long as you give them complete will, access um, to lead you, he'll lead you in the right way as far as what you're supposed to be praying for or even how to continue developing your tongue. So I agree with you uh, in that it, it is an all-access gym, uh, but you have to put in the work. And the work is praying daily and seeking the Lord and having those intimate times um, where uh, he can manifest and your spirit man can tap into that language. Also, just to add before, I know Candace is going to go, the best way to exercise it is to, if, and because you're a writer, pray in tongues before you write. It'll change your writing. It'll change how you express yourself. Mm. It'll, it'll give you deeper intellect and insight. Like I'm working on a, a, a book right now and I'm praying every time before I go to the computer, and stuff, I, before, I'm telling you, before I spoke in tongues, I'm like blank. I'm like, I do not know what to say. I don't know what I'm going to put down. I have a mental block. I get down, I speak in tongues, I get up and I'm... And it's just like that. Even, and I'm sure you probably deal with less uh, uh, writer's block than I do because you're, 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 you know, you're established. But if you pray in tongues, it can take your writing to more than just... Um, more than just ink and paper. Now, when you pray in tongues and you use that, that gift to interpret what you're typing, now spirit power goes into that writing beyond just natural power. But, <laughs> My God, spirit power. Yes, Lord. Speaking in tongues is the perfect prayer, right? So when, and it's also the prayer that, that the devil doesn't understand. When we speak in English, when we pray in English, he understands every single language on the, the face of the planet. But when we speak our heavenly language, it's something that he, it doesn't compute to him. It's the perfect prayer. So if you, you'll realize that when you begin to speak in, in tongues, almost like pictures or thoughts will come into your mind about things that you would never pray for. Mm -hmm. It'll be random. Like it'll be like a country or a particular issue that someone is having. And it's no one that you know, it's just an issue. You just hear something like um, inner ear infection or, you know, like cancer or like something random will come up. And it's because when we speak in our heavenly language, we're praying for things that we don't know about. We, we, we're not, we can direct our tongues and it's also indirect. When we just say, Holy Spirit, use me as your vessel to pray for whatever it is that you need me to pray for, 
then we don't know what we're praying for, but we can also be direct with our tongues. So if there's a particular thing that's on your heart or you want like an, a particular answer for, you could be like, God, I'm praying, I, I, you know, let Holy Spirit pray through me concerning this. God, I'm praying concerning school. I'm praying concerning this new book. I'm praying concerning a baby. I'm praying concerning, you know, whatever it is. And you begin to speak in tongues. And no, you don't exactly know what you're saying. You don't know what it is that, you know, it's not English to you, but Holy Spirit will take whatever you're saying and he'll translate that into the perfect prayer for that particular situation. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good tool to use, especially when you feel like you're going through a lot of warfare. Um, and especially like, even like with your mom, th that you know that she's not going to be very embracing of speaking in tongues because it's just something that she's not familiar with. You could pray in tongues about her not knowing about tongues for her to, to have a revelation herself and it becomes something that you guys can share, or it can become something that she's understanding to, and not saying that she's not understanding, but something that she can experience in her own way. So it's just, it's so many things that, and so many ways that you can go with speaking in tongues, and it's, it'll change your life. It, it, it has already changed your life. I mean, you're weeping for no reason. I mean, you're cold, then you're hot, then you're cold again, then you're hot. That's all the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. just let, and God letting you know that you're in you're in the right vein and you're on the right Thank track. You Jesus, you are. I'm, uh, Thank you, Jesus. I mean, right? I mean, like so exciting. It, it's just like like your prayer life is about to be on. It's gonna it's gonna open up things that you've never prayed for in mm -hmm. a, in an authority you've never prayed in mm -hmm. in a confidence you've never prayed in. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. and, and I will say this. I will say this. Don't be afraid when the voice comes back around and says mm -hmm. you're crazy when mm -hmm. you're doing it. That is the enemy, and he comes. The enemy is persistent. He's not gonna just knock on the door once and walk away. He's gonna keep knocking. He's gonna keep knocking until you give him room. And if you give him room by not praying enough and not and not, and not just speaking in tongues enough, but also fasting enough, because fasting causes your body to literally when you go in tongues you ever get i'm sure you thought about this you you had trouble yielding mm -hmm. if you fast and you pray in tongues a fasting weakens your body Ooh, so wait. yielding is easy mm -hmm. and you'll pray in tongues like you oh <laughs> you're going to pray in tongues in realms and talk and you're going to hear conversations in different rooms you're going to hear issues in different hearts you're going to hear uh, uh you're going to you're going to begin to interpret dreams that that other people have had and you're going to give them uh answers to those things but that's not everybody's experience that's not everybody's that's, that's experience. just a number of things that can happen when you allow yourself to be open to the holy spirit to pray through you so, but I think, but I think for you, you're about to open up a realm of gifts because you're you're getting introduced to the, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. This and is in the purest way, yes. And in the purest yes. way, I mean, for you to feel a pulling on your tongue, like I have never heard a testimony like that. To physically feel like mm -hmm. God is like, get, give me that. Get, come on, <laughs> open so my you know all night. Come on, come on. Open your mouth. It's happening tonight. You want it tonight? Talk. It's happening tonight. Yes. Oh, man. I'm just, mm. God is good. God so is good. excited. God so is. excited. My thing is, it's like, if you want to hold on to religion, hold on to religion, right? Hold on to it and say, okay, I can't because I don't know anything about it. That's not what we do in my old church. You're in a new place, a new space in life that you need to, to mm -hmm. start allowing God to move in you in a new way. But, you know, you can't make anyone no. want. Yeah. Because yeah. what it comes down to is, like, straight vulnerability. Like, and I feel like that's what, like, T even got to a point of that, that night, um, whether she never did it before, that night it was like, I'm vulnerable, I'm open, hey, I never heard about this, but I'm going to try it. And mm -hmm. just at that, but it it's really does show you how that, your level of, you know, whatever it may be of just not wanting to let go can really stop from just allowing the Holy Spirit to move. Because when I go back to mine, however our experiences were, I think we could all attest that it was just like, you could just have whatever. It, I mean, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So it can happen just like that. But you're going to play play with it so long that you're just not going to get this good gift. 
mm-hmm. I don't know. This just does something for my faith, man. It it really does. Like it puts me in a completely different place where it's like these things are tangible and it's for everyone, you know? And all we have to do is when we hear, when we get directions from God and he says, okay, now, now go ahead and do that. Even in the moment when I was queuing up the video, like I was looking for the video and Delon kind of mouthed to me, he was like, you going to do this right now? You going to mess all of us up. We going, we all going to be up in tongues. We ain't going to get nothing done. And I'm like, it's not about that. Like, he was like, you see, Mo, Mo, you know, like, he's pointing, you already, I'm okay. already coming. <laughs> you were so He's like, and he's already rocking back and forth. And he's hot. He's like, you sure you're going to do this right I now? I told you, right? I could, I in, felt- that moment, in that moment, I felt a little doubt. I'm like, am I trying to be like a show off right now or something? Like, you know, the, the enemy stepped in like ASAP, like, are you, you what, what, you trying to show off? What, what, what is this about? Like. And I'm like, how can I be trying? I'm trying to give people some stuff. Like, I exactly. want people to get it, yeah. you know? And I played it anyway. And it's like, it could have been that one second of doubt that you would not have your tongues that night. We have to be obedient to what God is telling us to do in moments, even though when it feels like, I don't know how this is going to go over. But Yeah, I'm really glad you did. Because I, 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 when I say, I kid you not that when you... Cause even for you to come on, cause you could tell like you, you're more of a, like a, it seems like a little lay low, like I'll come in if needed, if I feel like I have something to say, you know what I'm saying? And so when you came on and you shared, I was like, mm, I see how I see where this is going. Mm-mm, y'all not about to set me up. But, and I saw, I saw the line start. <laughs> right. Because that's the thing. Like, even with that, like he, he didn't, there was no bad intention behind that. He was just like, I'm stirred, Mo's stirred, you about to have all of us going off. And I'm like, no, I'm going to play it. And he's like, all right. No, <laughs> you know? but I, think I, was, I was stirred because of the conversation that we were having. And then when she came over to say, oh, I'm going to give him the video, I'm like, oh, shoot. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. And, and, it's, and it wasn't even just about the video. It was just about the potential of you gaining your prayer language stirred me because that. we saw like my my like I'm lately I've been a crier but before I am not a I am not a crier and so lately when the spirit of the Lord has been very evident and strong and not just in my life but me watching another person's life I don't know what it is but when I'm watching the spirit of God work in somebody else's life I've been getting real emotional and real like oh my God. I'm so excited for you. That's I'm, what it looked like. I was like, you look so excited. Right. right. And, and that's what it is. It's just like, it's, it's, it's me wanting everybody to have this gift that sometimes when you don't have the power to block bad thoughts and you don't have the, you don't have the strength within yourself to, to, to stop urges and things like that. The Holy Spirit intercedes when you don't know what you should pray for. My thing is, is like, it, I don't even look at it as like a gift. Like, I just want everyone to have that freedom. You know, it's like a freedom to know that, look, I don't have to have the perfect prayer every time. I don't have to have eloquent words. I don't have to be like, you know, I don't have to know everything. Mm-hmm. Like for me, I know I get stuck in prayer a lot because like you, you go in with all the thoughts that you have. Yeah, I'm going to pray for this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're like building this list. And if you don't write it down, when you're in the middle of prayer, you're like, ugh. That's it. And I hate that feeling. I hate when I'm in prayer and I'm just like, uh, I hate that. And in those moments, I go up in tongues. And then now I'm praying for the Indian people over here. I'm praying against the curses that they staying around our house. I'm praying. I end up in Venezuela somewhere. And, you know, what I was going to pray for, it just supersedes it every time. So mm. it's just, it's just. Hmm. Um, one thing I wanted to just add, you guys, is like, when I say it really did, and the team knows this, like it really increased my faith. Um, because it's funny, I was I when we were done after we finished playing the video, and you know we didn't we didn't we didn't we didn't see anything happen. Mm-hmm. Um, I w- I was gonna I was not gonna say it, but I was like hmm. I was like hold up let's let's look for test let's look for testimonies like I wanna let's get back I wanna actually try it and hear us you know somebody come back with something, and sometimes I think 
even as believers, as much as we believe God, we don't really believe that he can do it among us. You know what I'm saying? Like that we can really see and try him and say, no, we're looking for testimonies to come back. You know what I'm saying? That he's going to do it. And so I think it tried, it pushed our faith to say like, how much would you believe me that even in the midst of these Zoom meetings and different things like that, we should be looking forward to seeing people be delivered from stuff or financial, you know, whatever it may be. And so it kind of made me step out in faith to be like, no, I want to start like even regarding from that, it made me start to pray. Like when it came to my, my, um, my grandmother and declaring certain things over her life, of course, like there's some work that she had to do behind the scenes, but declaring certain things and then expecting to hearing something back. You know what I'm saying? We sometimes don't walk in that level of like, I know we didn't see it right now, but he's still able to do it kind of behind the scenes. And so I just, I was just floored that, I'm still floored, to be honest. It definitely so, feels like a faith booster, for real, because yeah. it's like, yeah. I know, and you know, let's be honest, the reason we don't, like, we let things kind of just go, and we don't say, I expect to hear anything back, is mm -hmm. because we feel like we did It ain't gonna happen. We feel like we did that, so there's a possibility that it's not, it's not going to happen. And I don't mm. want you to come back to me and be like, no, nah, I, I didn't. <laughs> didn't uh, Why'd you even play that? I don't even uh, like you played you. yourself. And you know, <laughs> you, you, it's, it's a pride <laughs> issue. You're like, I don't want to hear that. I failed. Right. And it's like, mm, no. You didn't fail nothing. You didn't fail yeah. Nothing. <laughs> if it was really about God, then you trust God enough to yeah. know time not tomorrow or whenever you feel like it's gonna happen that it'll happen for the person if they want it if if they yeah. right and it's literally i think that's why i detest like it's literally according to our faith you know what i'm saying and even when it shows me that faith isn't like you know always i just heard the lord say to play the video and um i just knew it it ain't always that sometimes it's like hmm well i got this video that i knew helped me so why not and then he just moves on it Mm -hmm. You know, step, step of faith. yeah, girl, I'm excited because the enemy has been trying it, right? T, yeah. the enemy has been trying it, and so yeah, and I, and that's probably why, again, with all the attacks, you know, we, you know, personal attacks and stuff like that, the Lord, the enemy knew that you're so close to your breakthrough. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And so if he could discourage you to get you to like not believe or believe the Lord was for you or that he doesn't want to give you those good things, it would have stopped you from, you know, tapping, tapping in. And so I, I felt like I'm like, the enemy must know that you're close to something. Yeah. And so if this is just probably just, again, this is just that tip of the iceberg um, to get you into that realm of like authority that you already have, that you've been telling everyone else, but that you also have yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Woo! Well. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh! Now, when you were when you were speaking in tongues, did you feel like you had like I know some people they feel like they have like a mumbling that is like it's like white noise, like you're like like this is the tongues cloud, and you're like okay, maybe I should download something. Maybe I should pull from it and just say, you know, pull what I think I'm hearing. Was it like that or was it I'm just simply following what? Yeah, like it wasn't like that at all. And I remember you mentioned that too in the video. And so I was like, hmm, maybe I should start from there. What, what do I hear? I was like, I don't hear anything. <laughs> and so like when like God gave me that word and then that second and that third, um, like, seriously like it was like rapid fire like it just kept going going and like my mouth was just going so fast like I don't even know how to explain it and there was like no room for me to even think about anything else um but like just keep repeating those words and so I don't even know and yeah I don't know I just know I felt it in my stomach I felt the tingling and it was it was real like it didn't just and like start and end of my toes like I just felt it all over I remember when I felt it in my fingertips that's when I really knew okay this is it and then like you know walking around in the circle and then like you know physically shaking that's when I was like okay well I don't do that so I know that's not me you know so yeah that's so crazy how all all the experiences are different you yeah. know not everyone has that same testimony of like how they began speaking in tongues. 
except for the ones that were, you know, they tarried until until the break of dawn. Knocked them four kids right. up until they said something that sounded like something to them, right. and then let them, you know, figure it out along the way. That ain't my testimony. Mm-mm. Ain't your testimony either. Mm-mm. I wanted it, so I did it, and he gave yeah. it to me, and that was that. I didn't want it. <laughs> No, I think that happens too. I did it. <laughs> I didn't want I mean, it. To but that's the truth. I love that. It's, it's it every like year's being afraid of it. Yeah. Right? So it took me to have to look up some stuff and them to say, okay, you're not just going to break out in the supermarket. <laughs> like, you're possessed. It's not possession. Like, you are yeah. still in control of your body. You right. just are now speaking. You just got different language. In a different language. Yeah. You got better language. Mm. Better what did you say? Language. You got a better language. Whew. Better than English, huh? <laughs> better. <laughs> I was like, yeah. But it's, it's perfect yeah, weapon. Man. It is yeah. it is a perfect weapon and it is for the it is for it's for your edification. It's for you. It's for you to and, and, and it you use it when you read your Bible. You use it to, to understand God's character more. Like mm-hmm. God, God will reveal so much to you in the midst of it that you're going to be like, oh, my God, what? That's how you're like? This is how you think? This right. is how you move? Right. It's just going to be just like that. And then the times where you're at your lowest, the times where, you're, where you don't know what to do, you're panicking, and there's fear all around you and darkness all around you, that heavenly language connects you to God in a way that he ministers it's almost like you know how you 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 feel so you you have a depression or something and you just can't put your finger on what it is when you pray in your heavenly language god comes in and he somehow identifies exactly what it is Mm -hmm. you still haven't figured it out but he comes in and just touches that button and it's just like oh wow it's gone that's true and what what helps too at least for me like i find now that i mean the lord just whenever he wants to some of the most inconvenient times for me but i'm just like lord have your way type of thing but what what'll start to stir even faster just if you when you just start to praise him mm-hmm. from that it, it just automatically it's like um it's like it just gives him a playing field to just yeah. okay i'm coming in on that so yeah. i find that um like he said the atmosphere set of the atmosphere sometimes but sometimes if you just I just start from a conference. Like now I feel like I can't believe I can't get a word out in English anymore. <laughs> like, you know, but again, starting from not honestly, right. but, um, starting out and just like praising him. Cause that's usually how it just starts. I'll just start with a conversation. It'll just start to just turn. And I feel like, so yeah, you want to, cause for me, it wasn't so much of like, a, um, I mean, again, the beginning of this year, he just started and just kept on going before a time I had to, I prayed the Lord to like, develop it even more but then as when he when he I don't know I don't know if it's like when he wanted to or just when I was just really open to it he just started fire just kind of started coming but praise just really I feel like really welcomes him in uh to come in and like really have his way Ooh, yeah that's good advice that's really good advice praise God great praise God but- we're so excited for you Tara yes and She's always around if you ever need to like talk yep. about, you know, prayer and moving forward and things like that. Listen, you are not alone nope. in any of this. You have a family. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Thank so, you so much. Bye. No problem. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down below. We're in this journey together. I'll see you next time, guys. See ya.